All right, number nine, this one we want to graph the following function using the shifting, compressing, stretching, and or reflecting uh, techniques. We're going to start with the graph of the absolute value of x, and we're going to show all stages. I'm going to be sure that at least three points, and then we're going to find the domain. So <clears throat> we're going to use the calculator. We're going to graph it. Um, we can do it by hand by picking points, but we're going to graph it. Now we got to be careful here. Um, but we can know something about the graph before we graph it. So what you would typically see, this 3 is in the position of A. So if we look at what A does, um, being that it's bigger than 1, it will stretch the graph out. So we will have the, the appearance of a, a thinner, skinnier graph. Um, and then this 5, so this is in a different order. The 5 is positive, though. So you want to think about that in grouping symbols. That's the H. Uh, that is positive. So that will shift the graph left 5 units. Now, we will have a, sh a stretch, and we will shift left 5. Now, this negative X, though, is going to reflect it. It's going to flip your graph. The negative X the negative x, this one right here, the b value, is going to reflect it across the y-axis, y-axis. And so, whereas we once shifted left five units, when it reflects, it's going to go across the y-axis to the other side, so it's going to look like it got shifted right five units. And when you pick your answer choice, the final graph, the final description is what they're looking for. So, if you choose left and stretch, I don't think you will find that option. Shift it left, and it says a horizontal compress. Shift it right, vertical stretch. Um, shift it left, that's the other one that we would see. Shift it left, vertical compress, and we got a stretch. And then it says shift it right. So instead of shifted left, this graph is overall going to get shifted right and then vertical stretch. So we're looking for right and vertical stretch, this one. But let me show you what that looks like. So in this calculator, I'm going to go to y equal. I'm going to clear out what we have. And I'm going to do the number 3. And the way I get absolute value, we go to math right here below alpha. And then we have to arrow over to number so arrow right, and then this first option A, B, S stands for absolute value. So I'm going to hit enter on option number one. So this is three times absolute value, and I'm going to type it just like they have it, five minus X. And then we close parentheses to end. So when we graph this, there is our graph. Now, if I go back and put the parent function, the original, so go to math, number, absolute value, and I just put an X here and close. I want this parent function to look uh, bold, so I'm going to arrow to the front and then hit enter. This is for the 83 version. And then when I graph that, that's the parent function. You can see how wide it is. This new graph has a skinnier um, view because it's been stretched out uh, in the vertical direction and then it got shifted right overall. Um, without that negative it would look left but because we got that that uh, transformation that flip. If I change this to plus and graph it then you'll see that graph on the left side okay but because of that reflection it flipped it and moved it over. So it actually did get shifted left but the reflection moved it back on the right side and that's why it has the overall view of looking as though the graph was shifted right instead of left because of that minus. So you got to be careful there um, whenever you have those reflections. But B is what we want. Uh, the graph that we saw on our calculator was option B. And then the domain, so if you look at the original domain, absolute value is all real numbers. 
And you can also think about um, our conversations from class. Uh, our domain would be restricted if we had a fraction, if we had a square root, or if we had a logarithm. And we don't have either. And I'll just go and show you that. You can see domain is all real, all real, um, all real. When you have a square root, we have a different domain. Um, cube, all real. Cube root, all real. Um, we have, this is exponential, um, but it's all real. Log rhythm is restricted, okay? And then when we have these uh, fractions, domain is different than all real when we've got these fractions. And everything else is just generally all real. So that's what you want to keep your focus on. So our domain will be all real. So negative infinity. To positive infinity and our range since this graph did not get shifted up or down at all there was no vertical change then our range will be the same as our original so range goes from the x-axis from 0 up to infinity and bracket on the 0 and so we'll have the same range 0 to infinity.